the questions which people always ask about this show. In fact, there's only really one question. Well, there's all sorts of questions, but the only one that I can remember as being repeated is, um, have you done this? Is this a true story? Have you disappeared yourself uh, or changed your identity? Um, and the answer is no, I haven't. Um, although there's a lot of, there's a, it's quite a play with a really dark heart, which um, I did have to kind of go to some quite dark imaginative places. And at one point, um, a great friend and mentor of mine, my old MA tutor on the Goldsmiths Playwriting MA in London, um, said to me, I was kind of stuck between one draft and another, and he said, why don't you do it? Why don't you disappear? Uh, just not forever, but just take yourself off for a couple of weeks. Don't tell anyone where you're going. You know, maybe apply for some credit cards in a false name. Do all these tricks that you've been finding out in these books. You know, get a few fake documents. <clears throat> see how far you get. And I kind of thought, no, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. You know, because my girlfriend would kill me and um, my mother and, you know, it would cause a panic and maybe waste police time. Or, you know, all these reasons that you come up with. But actually being faced with that challenge of it's that easy. Why don't you just do it? Just temp even temporarily, why don't you just give it a go? Actually, almost psychologically taking myself to that place, to that brink, and realising how easy it was, and how actually now I know how to do it from all the research, and I could just disappear like that. Um, that was quite an important moment for the development of the play, for psychologically uh, getting into Charlie's head. Um, but no, I've never done it myself. Although, never say never, the need arises. I know how to do it. Ha, ha, ha.